Hello loves. Oh, that's a good one. Hello loves. It's a uh, Tuesday talk with Tavia. TV talk Tuesdays, what is it? I don't know. I think it's just talk with Tavia, maybe. Um, so I have to start off, I'm a little low energy today. Oh, me too. So I just don't gave know. you a lot though. Yeah. <laughs> Did that take it out of you? Yeah, I woke up feeling a little mer. Yeah. Well, I woke up, so I've been getting up early again. Yeah. Not 5.30. Not to get dressed. Not 5.30. <laughs> I do look like a bum. I'm getting my hair cut after this, so I didn't want to like do my hair. And I also probably should shave, but I'm going skiing tomorrow, so I'm like, maybe, maybe. just let it. Yeah, just keep it, it for your, your winter shield. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so I woke up this morning at six, came down, got my coffee, went upstairs, mm -hmm. puppy was snuggling, I had to come down for something else. Mm -hmm. Ended up fucking stubbing my toe. Like so bad that like, the whole nail is like black and blue. No, yes. no, you don't want to see it. I do. It's gross. It's so gross. And I was like, I was in pain for like 15 minutes. So this is how <laughs> my day started out. I didn't sleep very well last night, so I went back to bed, took a little nap. Yeah. So my day is not. Uh, it's not kicking. It's not the best. My day is really not kicking either. I don't even like to say the S word. Sick. Cause. Cause you just don't say it, but I just feel like I went to bed last night feeling a little mer. Right, yeah, I called you and you were just- I was just like, mer. Yeah. And then I woke up, my throat, just low energy over here. I wanna eat, but you know that when you're like hungry but nothing sounds good cause everything's just not feeling good? I'm starving to death. That's where I am right now. So I've got my tea, I got you, I got you, and we're here. And we're here, we're mm -hmm. totally here. Okay, so we had a couple topics to talk about. Oh, I got my watch. Colin joined the, the iWatch Club. He's just... I don't know if I'm vibing on it. He's honestly. not good at it so I'm far. not. It just... I it, think it's on the wrong hand. I don't know what that means. Like, I think you might, might work better on your right hand so you could just... But I'm right-handed. So am I. But I'm watching you try to thumb through it with your right hand and you're just like... <laughs> You can't do it. So if it was on the other side, maybe it'd work easier. I, don't, I just feel like it's so small, and like, how do you even like do anything? Like, well, we need is, to redo all of this. What do you mean redo it? And that's the other thing. Like, there's so many options. Like, how do you even? It's super cute though. He did the gay, or not the gay, but the pride <laughs> banner. Pride rainbow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see, but I'm not really vibing on it. Well, I think it's As gonna. Right I think it's gonna come to you. I, I do. Think. I love mine. Yeah. I do. Why? What aspects of it do you love? About? I love the circles, like completing the circles every day. Right. And I do like seeing like what my workouts are doing. It's motivating me to work out. But I think that I, I set mine too high because I said it. I wanted to be. I, you know, I asked you the questions. How active do you want to be? Yeah. And I set it to be very active, and it's like 990 calories a day, which is fine when I'm we like can, doing double workouts. But like on a normal day, we can modify that. So I burned 560 calories in spin class yesterday morning. Okay. And then I only burned like 300 calories during my my lift. So I'm like, if I only lift, I'm not gonna burn that many calories right, a day. Right, but you burn calories naturally by walking around and running up and down the stairs. I do have a lot of stairs, that's true. I burned 400 calories on my 45 minute cy cycle ride the other day. I yeah. did 45 minute um, intervals and arms, and my arms are sore today. Oh, the bicep, it's like you can't even, oh. Does that hurt? Kinda. Oh yeah, we wanted to talk about my arms, my baggy wings. Well, let me tell you that Samantha went to spin class with me yesterday morning. How was that? Oh, we called you, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was good. I think she enjoyed herself. Did she? I think so. She said, let's do it again on Sunday. Has, was that the first time she's ever done spin? That was the second time. The first oh. time she hated it. Ugh, did you take her to that awful instructor that you like? <laughs> <laughs> no, I took her to T. The guy with the tattoos. Oh, okay. That is I showed that... you last time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, But there's that, there's an instructor that Colin likes, and I swear to God, she doesn't stay on her bike at all. She unclips and runs back and forth like she's coaching a track meet. Well, she's now a master instructor. Well, she's she, like, not teaches, a master of shit. She, <laughs> she teaches um, instructors, like, across the country. How to not spin? I mean, I like her. 
I thought she was annoying. I think she was the one that, that Samantha took before too. And she gave it like, Samantha had no instructions. So she was like on a really low gear and just like pedaling really fast. I feel like I'd love to watch that girl take like a Peloton ride and they'd be like, stop whatever you're doing. Just everything right now. Just stop it. Stop. Take like an actual class. Yeah. That's the thing is, so the Peloton is so different than all these spin classes because they're all like tapping one and back and five and six and don't do. And like our Peloton, that's not what we do. Right. So right. like don't compromise. Your form. Your form. Right. To be all sorts of like, God well, only And that's right. So when I took my class to teach at Lifetime, mm -hmm. they, I mean, it was like a very strict like cycling Institute thing and they were like, oh, absolutely not. There's no dancing on the bike. Yada, 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 yada. I'm like, wait, I'm taking this to be an instructor to do like one of these classes. Like, am I in the right place? Yeah, <laughs> well, I? I mean like a little dancing during our cool downs, but we're not like, we never do a tap back. Yeah, you ever do like push-ups? No. No. Do a snake? What is that? Yeah. The good snake? stuff. Four corners. Hit him with the four corners. But what does that? That's right. What does that move? What does that do? What is what? that working? Uh, your core, because you have to keep stabilized. Okay. Well, you also keep stabilized by using as one, two, three, four as one unit instead of like up and down, up and down. I think Tavy's gonna be a, a Peloton instructor. Yeah. She was. <laughs> she was, like, We were on the phone the other day. <laughs> She was doing a ride. She's like, all right, people, let's let's get into it. Let's, our cadence is 115, 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, like, 1, 2, 1, wow, 2. Wow, you actually sound pretty good right I now. I am actually really good. And Do you I, just, like, act like you're teaching the class sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And then the girls were riding their bikes on, what day was it so nice? Sunday? We went to the park. Yeah. And Olivia gets on the bike. She's Savannah, we're on our Pelotons. And then oh, they're riding, and all you hear is one, two, one, two, one, two. And I was like, get it, one, two, one, two. Oh my god, that's so cute. And then we got to an intersection, I was like, pick up the speed. <laughs> you gotta go. Oh. It was really cute. That is really cute. I know. I know. I think you'll get into the watch. I just think you gotta give it a minute. Right, yeah. Well, like, literally, I just got some sort of notification. I don't know what it was. So, do you know how to check it? No. So, you tap, and then you pull down to get your notification. And so you got... Yeah, raise to speak. What? See, look. And then look. I, uh, oh, keep it going. Yeah, keep it going, Colin. You're doing great. First, first cycling, cycling workout. workout. Oh, the workout that I did that. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well. He's not very good at it. So, Tavi's going to help me to turn off. I just want, like, everything. <sighs> off. Everything off. Off. Pretty much. And that's what Janelle said last night. I was talking to her on the phone. She said she has all of her notifications off. She just uses it for workouts. I want to use it for text messages. But for texting, like, there's not a keyboard, so you have to use the voice text. Right, which is okay. But the thing is, so then I can just leave my whore phone at home, just get my text, and then just be working. But wait a sec, what, what phone number do I have? The whore phone. Well, but if you don't have the whore phone, then I... It rings through the work phone. I know, you changed it. Mm -hmm. Why? So that I get all my calls on my work phone. So it's one of two phones. Because at late at night when you're sexting, we've been over this. Mm -hmm. Right, but just so you know, you won't get your text messages from your horror phone if you're more than 40 feet away. I got the cellular version. Why would you spend the extra money for that? What do you mean? It was only like 100 bucks extra. Why you wouldn't spend you? more what's money? The point, what's the point of getting a, a watch that you have to be next to your phone? Wild. I wouldn't have done that. Because they, they, like you said, you won't get your text message if no, you're not next to your phone. No, but your phone is in your bag or something. I don't have a purse. No, well, get one. <laughs> so, I would love to describe Colin's outfit to you today. <laughs> Go ahead. You can see the top if you're watching YouTube. But if you're not, he's wearing a black spider beanie. With, like, what color do we call this? Brown? Uh, Orange? Know. Brown? Sure. Caramel? Yeah. He's wearing kind of like a caramel hoodie with a Sherpa inside. Look. It's very warm. It's very okay. sweating, actually. But the problem starts... Below the waist. At the waist. Yeah, that's typically how all my problems yeah, start. Yeah, it does. And they are bright-ass orange Jeffree Star track pants. I just don't like them. 
Okay, why don't you like them? I don't know. Are they just too Maybe bright? Maybe it's the outfit. Do you want me to go put on the the top, the matches? And then we can no, go to lunch? No, it's just like... It's... It, I look like a traffic cone. I think that even on the website... Here's the deal. So when I was ordering... Why is there so much pattern to it? <laughs> when I was ordering the pants, there was I wanted like a full track suit. And the only pants and top that they had together in stock were the orange. So you settled? Yep. I like them. I, you know I like things that are different. I know. You know, I don't like to be like basic bitch all the time. Like, yeah, it's like 90% of the time. But then I like to have like something that like is a little, a little off the beaten path, you know? Mix things up a little. Yeah, but. Some kinky sex once in a while, you know? Oh my God, these orange pants aren't getting that. Yeah, I think they are. I don't think they are. Not from the right guy. But anyway, so you said that you were over. No. <laughs> I think we should talk about it. I just think, I, I don't know. Like, I think I'm over Jeffree Star. Why? I don't know. Do I don't know. he's just like too wild? I don't do know if that? I was ever like into him, into him. Yeah. But I would get sucked in sometimes to like a Snapchat he's very or his YouTube. Because he's very dramatic and over the top. Yeah, but didn't I think I liked his boyfriend better? Okay, so let's talk about the boyfriend because I have a theory on Jeffrey Star and Nate. So that he doesn't even care that he left. I mean, right? That's like, maybe why I don't like him. So have you been watching his snap stories and him no. going to the Super Bowl and everything? Yeah. So he, so Jeffrey Star went to the Super Bowl, and he had a snap that he like addressed it, and he said, "Everybody saying, oh Jeffrey, you're going out doing all this stuff." And he goes, "Well, I was with somebody for five years or whatever that didn't want to go to the club and didn't want to go out and blah blah." blah. And I've been going out since I was 17 years old. And I was like, "Ooh, the real tea is coming out." Like, so what? He broke up with him because I think Nate broke up with Jeffrey because. Jeffrey's lifestyle is too much. Like Nate Obviously. came from Nate came from this small town and then he was thrown into this world where they're buying an eleven million dollar mansion. You know, it's just like too much, I think, for for like a small town guy. I just feel like and, he just wants real love. Okay, why Well, I wanted phone? to send something to you. I was gonna send it to you and then we were gonna talk about it, but it has to come to your phone. To well, why wouldn't you just tell me or show me? Okay, well I was gonna well, finish this. <laughs> 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 I think we're done. Go ahead. <laughs> so let me just, I was skipping forward really quick to something new because last night, sweetest friend of ours, Dale. <gasps> so pretty. Anyways, Daily Dale sent me this like really like this news article that I was like, oh, um, what is going on? I'm just going to tell you because you're making me look at it here. Okay. So it says, the Colorado officials about the coronavirus. Click that link. It is like the scariest link. I clicked it. Ah! Oh my. That's what happened to me last night. Okay, so it is. Terrifying. <laughs> it is a picture of a large. Large. African American man with a large member just sitting on the bed, the, bed. the bedside, like, and it's why, just flopping over. Why it cheated that to me? That's funny. Did and you I, freak out? Yeah, so I'm reading the text. I was like, Luke, the coronavirus is in Boulder. Like, we can't go outside. And he's like, what? I was like, look, it came from Dale, CNN. Look at Dale. Dale. I was like, Dale wouldn't send this. And then I was like, we got to read the article. He's like, are you sure that's a safe link to click? And I was like, yeah, it came from Dale. Well, because Luke's worried about like viruses and stuff, right? That is a I virus. <laughs> that is a virus. I'm a, I don't like, now it's on the phone. Like we have to get him. We have to get him off the phone. So what did you reply back to Dale? I don't know. How do you get him? <gasps> that's a lot of get, man. Just Here, get it off. Let me, let me get it. That's, that's wow. Get it off. Okay. Anyway, what did we say back to Dale? I said, I said Dale. <laughs> oh, I it was so scary. Link. Said it safe. Click me. What? Is it safe to click me? And it's not safe. So if somebody sends you something. Toss my phone in a full panic. I did. I tossed it like a spider was jumping at me because it was like a giant earthworm. That's funny. What did Luke do? Is Luke, Luke laughing? Luke like, he was standing there with me as I clicked it and I was like, ah, and I tossed it and he goes, ah. <laughs> Oh that was goodness. a lot of man to see right that moment in time, right? That's funny. Yeah, I like it though. You know, I don't mind those, but the ones that I hate are the scary ones. Like that, like oh. jump out at the screen. Those, you, you those, liked that? those send shivers you... down my spine. I mean, I didn't mind it. It was fine. No, you didn't. Yeah, it was. It's a lot of man, but should we talk about your 2020 goals? 
uh, my abstinence. This is my year of abstinence. Uh, so, just so everybody knows, I have not had sex <laughs> in 2020. Uh, Should we date it? Which Should is, we date it? Is, it's Fab Six. <laughs> which is odd for me, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think odd. it's good for you. Why do you think it's good for me? Why not? To A just be reflection sad of sad and lonely and. Are you sad and lonely? Horny. Sometimes. What are you sad about? You got Benzie Boo. I know. That's the dog. Yeah. Look at him. You've got me. You've got Sam. Yeah, but none of you give me sexual pleasure. We don't. So anyway, so I maybe have just gone into a new year of just abstinence. I don't think you'll make it that long. Oh. But I don't think you're going to go a, a year. challenge? Oh, you want to go a whole year? I don't think I can. I don't know. <laughs> the wouldn't. thing is, the thing is, like, I'm just not that into it. Like, it's a lot of work. You've seen when I'm, you know, like... Yeah. When there's a lot of boys You're in my phone. You're focusing on your, you and your body being right now. You know, and I think maybe that's part of it, as maybe I don't feel sexy. <laughs> maybe that's it. Because he said he was bulking all season. Well, for two months. And then I gained 20 pounds. Yeah. But anyway, we're getting back. Are we? How, are so maybe we? once I feel sexy again, maybe Probably this summer. Probably by your birthday. When I go to Mexico with Jan. I don't know. That's not too weird, Mexico. Okay, sex. so... <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, so I do have to talk to you about uh -oh. a boy. So Speaking do you of. remember the guy, can't say it, but do you remember the guy that I went on a date with and he was like a farm, like he liked his garden, do you remember him? Like the garden? Yeah, and he was when like was a big this? muscular guy and I sent you pictures. This was like last year. Maybe early last year. Maybe had a beard. Maybe two years ago. Yeah, it has like scruff. Maybe. I'll have to see any picture. Well, okay. Anyways, is he gardening? So we're going we're going deep now. But He's so how in his garden? Well, so well no, he sold his house, which I was like, why are you selling your house? And you didn't use it. Because he loved his his well no, I don't care about that. It, because he loved his garden. Now he lives in a condo downtown. But anyway, so we went on a date, and I just have always thought that he's very attractive, like yeah. for years. He's yeah. older, he's in his 40s, he's like very in shape, he's very sweet, he's a lawyer. You remember him as? No. Okay, so we went on a Is date. Is he the leftovers guy? No, 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 no. Okay. No. Um, Call him on a date with a guy <laughs> who met him for drinks because he had to eat leftovers for dinner. Yeah, I was like, do you want to get some food? And he's like, no, I have leftovers I need to eat. <laughs> That's awkward. Anyway. So we went on a date and like, I know that he, and this is the problem in a gay world because I know that he was a, a bottom basically. And so like basically two bottoms don't make a top, but I was made a point. But, but, bump, bump. I made a point of going on, like making him go on this date. Cause I just always thought he's like so cute and like we had fun mm -hmm. and a good time. But then we just like stopped talking after that. Right. Cause it was the bottoms. Yeah. The bottoms like situation, I guess. But I, you know, I don't know. We've always like chatted a little bit on Instagram or whatever. I don't know. So changed positions? I don't, I mean, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't know. But anyway, he messaged me last night because he was like, he posted some cute picture of him like in the gym, like a selfie or whatever. He's like, guess what, what day it is? And I was like, leg day. As he was like flexing his bicep. And he's like, no, it's come sit on my lap day. And I was like, oh, that was cute. You know. Is that cute? I thought it was cute. Is it not cute? Come sit on my lap? Yeah. Like, like sexually sit on my lap or sit on my lap like Santa? Both the same. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know if I would be like, oh, that's cute. I'd be like, that's weird. <laughs> you also don't know how to flirt though. Right. I mean, I don't know that if, if a boy was like, come sit on my lap, I'd be like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> what if Luke said that? I you would like still it. look you... at Luke and be like, ew. No, you had a moment there. You're like, ew. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, continue. So he wants well, you to sit a, on his lap. Yeah, no. So I was just like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what to think of that. I thought so, it was cute. Is there anything else to that? I don't know. I don't know who, like what I need to do with that. That. Do you marinate on that? Yeah. Well, I've been oh. marinating. So I was trying to get your opinion. What do you think? But clearly, you think it's gross. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna <laughs> oh, get a good opinion I just opinion thought it was you. a weird comment. Like, was he being like, come over and have sexy time? Maybe. I mean, I'd be fine with that. It's hot. Works another time. Do we feel like? For 2020, are we looking for a sexual or romantic partner? Or what, like what? Or just like friends that we have sex with. Wait, what, what are you wanting? 
What is, I don't understand the question. Are we finding our lifelong soulmate this year? Well, that's what the astrologer said, but she also said that I was gonna meet him in November. Maybe you did, you just didn't know it. Well, that's what she said, it's, she said it's somebody, what did she, do you remember, you heard my thing. She said, so I saw an astrologer in March, I think we talked about this. see her, you talked to her. Talked to her, and so she said that I was going to meet somebody, have a lot of connections over the summer, which I did. Yeah. You got new friends. A new friends. And then I was going to meet my partner in November, but it was somebody that I have already known and that it was going to be like a slow boil. Maybe it's Devon. No, I don't think we're I'm compatible. Well, maybe. You don't know. You met him this summer. I don't think so. Oh. I'm not his type, but he's not my type. Well, you don't know what anybody's type is until you really dive deep. He likes, like, you know, skinny, scrawny it. boys. Well, if you keep, And that is not me. If you keep going on this diet, we'll get you there real fast. I'm looking gone. So anyway, so, so... Do we think we met him? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's not him. Them? Plot twist. Or... Oh, oh, them. No, it's not a her. Why? Oh my god. Okay, so Samantha's friend. Wait a sec. Now you want to be with a woman? Well, let me tell you the story. Okay. So Samantha's friend was complete lesbian, right? Was like married to a woman for years, like five or six years. The, the woman cheated on her. And so they got divorced. Now she is with a man. Full-blown relationship with a man. Well, okay. You go ahead and let that sink I in for know, a minute. I know, I know. So, like, you know, this is what I've always said. You've never been with a girl, though. So, maybe 2020 is my year. Oh my god, this is like the 40-year-old virgin for girls. But you're 30. Well, I'm closer to 40 than 20, <laughs> that's for sure. I feel like I would be nervous for your first sexual encounter yeah, with a woman. <clears throat> yeah, me too. Well, because I told you about the Vegas <laughs> experience, remember? <laughs> She, I was like, there was this girl in Vegas that was out there for my 30th birthday. And we're like making out and stuff after the club and I'm like touching her and she moved my hand to a different place because I wasn't touching the right place. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Colin's like rubbing a belly button. She's like, dad. Yeah. <laughs> Other way, but yeah. Oh so my God. I don't, I don't know if it would be great, but I feel like I'm a good learner. I mean, I feel like we just throw you in the ring and hope that the right. girl's a pro on the other end. Right, yeah. You'd have to take it slow. Yeah. It's... God, and then what if I got, like, a girl pregnant? Oh, God. I really think we need to... <laughs> Rethink this? Yeah, I do. I think we need to be protected. I think we need to think this. Uh, you never... All I'm saying is you never know what's going to happen in the future, you know? Case in point, Sam's friend. No, for sure. I know plenty of people that I grew up with where their mom was married and then next thing you know, she Let's got divorced and now she's a lesbian. See? There you go. Or vice versa. Right. Dad's now into men. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess you could be into women. I'm not... I think I would be more shocked. Shocked than what? Like, I feel like I would be more shocked if somebody walked up to me and was like, now I'm into girls than if, I, if you'd be like, I'm gay. I'd be like, I know. <laughs> like, you know? It just seems as though... It just seems as though. As though what? I don't know. Huh, okay. I think if you brought well, a girl I'm home not and you were like, that I'm we're like... me and Shannon, <laughs> or... <laughs> this is my girlfriend Shannon, I even think my girls would be like, what? Like, uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm just saying know. that the options are endless in life, you know? Not I mean, that I'm pursuing a girl or anything. No, the girl would have to pursue you. I don't know about that, but... Are you over-talking no, to me? No, we have to check our time. Well, I don't know how to check it on this watch. Well, where was she setting a reminder at? Uh, see, I don't know how to use this thing. Well, I don't know. How long has this been going? Oh. 25 minutes. Yes, yeah, so we got to wrap it up soon. we got to wrap it let up. Let me tell you He's this. He's going to have to wrap it up if he dates a girl. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you this. I stumbled somehow upon some YouTube channel. Stop doing that. You're shaking my face. Oh, sorry. Two, two Asian girls doing like skincare review. Wow. I was like, you know, I like the Asian girls. 
I'm into he, Asian girls. He does. So if you're out there <laughs> and you're wanting yeah, all of this, you're wanting all to experiment. This. Colin's here. He will need hand holding for a little bit, but I think I feel like girls love that. Like, oh, I'm gonna turn a gay guy straight, right? I don't think I. Like I've had that. offers from girls. I've just been too scared. I've had offers from couples. I've been too scared. Are you too scared to put it in? Just like the wrong hole. The whole thing is the scary. flower. The flower's not. It's pretty. kind of like a piranha in some right. cases. It's like exactly Rawr. right. And then if there's, Rawr. we won't get into too much detail, but all right. Well, every I think we gotta... flower blooms differently. Okay. Um, sorry we weren't as lively. I think this was a great conversation. We got into like some some meaty topics, figuratively and Ugh. actually. <laughs> That video, that picture will haunt my mems. It's there forever. It's burnt right, burnt right here. It's also in my probably search history now. Yeah, you can never get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's figure out how to. Anyways, that is how the cookie crumbles. Is how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this one. Subscribe. Subscribe. We post every Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. Hit that follow button on Spotify, iTunes, follow all the other Colin. places. Oh, we're yawning. Yeah, it's time for a moment to go night and night. <laughs> I'm going to take nap nap too. <laughs> all right. Check us out on the next one. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great day.